Look out. And hit him. <laughs> now Clemens is walking over toward first base. I have the never. Yankees are coming out of the dugout. I have never seen that before. He didn't just get hit by the pitch. He caught it. And then he fired it back at uh, Clemens. I have never seen that before. Now players from both teams have come out. And here comes the players. Uh, or here come the players from the bullpens. Now you see them. Why don't they just hang out in the bullpen and fight out there? That's right. <laughs> Why would they all come in here? <laughs> I run into the yeah. Why just fight out If you're going to fight the other team, just fight out in the bullpen. Why are you gonna, They're all going to run in here and fight, I guess. The, the, the funny thing about this, John, is that when Noakes threw the ball back to Clemens, it shocked him. So Clemens just caught it. And then he said, what did he do? And then he realized what had happened. So, uh, you know, he decided he was going to take it a little further than that. And he hasn't forgotten it. Now, Clemens is still talking to him from the mound. Yeah. He is hollering over at Noakes, who's hollering right back. And first base umpire Henry trying to cool things down. The plate umpire Rick Reed at the mound with Clemens. Well, being perfectly honest with you, I think Clemens is right in this case. First of all, if Noakes has a complaint, you know, you don't take it out by throwing the ball back. He have to, has to complain to the umpire or someone. But, uh, you know, I understand that. I mean, he fired the ball at Clemens intentionally. And now, unless you're going to say Clemens threw the ball at him intentionally, well, then Noakes is wrong. But I do understand. Getting hit with a 90-mile-an-hour fastball in the ribs it's not a pleasant experience. Now here's the pitch. And it gets him in the ribs and it actually lodges between his elbow and his wrist. But see now he fires it back. And Clemens is surprised there. I mean he's probably never had that done before either. Well see, the ball is between his elbow and his ribs and he just holds it there. There you see it being taken out. And all and he fires it back at him. And they're doing the fabled uh, Boston cheer at Yankee Stadium from back in those halcyon days of 77 and 78. I, I don't know if, if Noakes wants to get into a throwing contest with Roger Clemens, though. <laughs> Clemens throws a little harder than he does. Well, the thing is, when, when <laughs> Noakes is up there, he doesn't have a glove. Exactly. <laughs> well, then this is where I disagree with you, Joe, because I think Roger's wearing a glove. It was no problem. He threw out. Well, he's got a glove on. He knows how to catch the ball, but he was not expected. Well, I guess Noakes wasn't expected either, was he? I mean, I think that Noakes, and I'm not condoning it. Right, right. I agree with you that he was wrong. Yeah. But he got hit and he, he reacted. reacted. And yeah, there's the reacted. ball. The ball's never there. The ball yeah. bounces away. Yeah. He had the ball and he just said, "The heck with it." Here. <laughs> right. But Roger had the glove up. He didn't get hurt. <laughs> it's just colorful. That's all. Yeah. That's foul. I remember when Campy Campanaris got hit in the 72 playoffs by Laren Legro in the fort and got up and threw his bat yeah. at Laren Legro. I remember that. He felt like they were throwing at his legs intentionally because he had stolen a few bases. But I, <laughs> this is interesting. This is the, this season I've seen more things happening, you know, than ever in my 20 years. Things that I'd never seen in 20 years I played. Guys not scoring from third on base hits to right field. All those types of things. And the curve is fouled. One and two to Moss, who is 0 for 2. Now well, we, this feels like the Red Sox Yankee yeah, game. Now. now we see a hit batsman trying to hit the pitcher back. This is interesting. Only the fifth time this year that Clemens has hit a batter, and only the fourth time that Noakes has been hit. Now Clemens was in the eye of the storm against Detroit at Fenway earlier this year. Yeah. He gave up a home run to right. somebody. The next hitter was Shelby. Right. He got decked and he took off after Clemens, and there was a brawl. Yeah. But I mean, if you look at the fact he's not a, he's not a, he only hit five got people all year. That's not, you know, a headhunter or anything. Two and two. I mean, Jim Lomborg, who used to play for the Sox, he would hit 15, 20 a year or whatever, you know. Well, in 67, the year of the impossible dream for the Red Sox, he hit more than 20 right. and he won 22. He was yeah. about one hit batsman per win. Yeah, so that's not, I mean, five hit batsmen in a season is not a big deal. But you know, he told me, there was an art to going inside. And that uh, fourth ball misses three and two. He said if he was throwing at somebody, he would aim for the spot just about exactly where Noakes just got hit. Yeah. 
lower rib cage. Yeah, you can't duck it and you can't move out of the way. If you throw at his head, a hitter's head, he can usually get out of the way. That's true. But also, he didn't want to be throwing at his head. He right. didn't want to uh, hurt him, yeah. injure him seriously. Yeah. Four to three, the Yanks ahead. One out. There goes Noakes. Struck him out. Hang you. He's in there. A oh, small measure of satisfaction for Matt Noakes. His first steal of the year. Look where Roger Clemens is. He's hollering at him. Yeah, he walked out toward the mound. He walked out halfway toward second from the mound and started hollering at Noakes. Yeah. Well, there goes Noakes. A decent jump, but the throw is on the wrong side of the bag. So no chance really for that's him to be tagged out. But Noakes is upset, but Clemens walked halfway back there after the play and said something to him. Now Alvaro Espinosa. He is two for two, and as a result of the steal, he could deliver a run with another single here. Four to three Yankees. Slider, a strike. Now Clemens, you know how sometimes, or in fact the other day, Norm Charlton hit Mike Sosha and admitted it because he said Sosha was stealing signs from second base and relaying them to the batter. Clemens, they say, thought that somebody was doing that. Slider, again, a strike. So he turned around to the runner at second. He says, if you do that again, you're a dead man. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's a way of getting it stopped, I'm sure. I think they would stop. Yeah, that'll get it stopped. 0 oh and 2. And he might have been reminding Noakes, as we're in the sixth, that he'll be seeing him again a couple innings later. Oh and two the count to Espinosa the Red Sox and Yankees these teams have been doing this sort of thing uh, since medieval days and the hated rivals for so many years the Red Sox the first 18 years of the century were the dominant team in the American League and they have not won a World Series since 1918 <laughs> or since they yeah, traded, traded Babe Ruth. Babe. Yeah. Yeah, don't bring that other thing up. <laughs> that curse. Oh, you brought it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> and fouled away by Espinosa. But beginning with that trade, the Yankees have become the great dynasty in all of sports. They've won more pennants and more World Series than any other team. And the Red Sox have never won a World Series since. And it's been, what, 73 years since their last one. Oh, and to the count to Espinosa. Fouled back again. But I thought that was interesting when this started that the people in the bullpen both bullpens are out in left center field so they were coming both teams are coming from left center field to first base to fight I don't, that's unreal they're both of the bullpens are out there but it was just a couple of years ago when somebody got hit in a Red Sox uniform and the player charged the mound and the only man came out of the dugout was Mike Greenwell <laughs> nobody from the bullpens or the dugout other than Greenwell that was the camaraderie they had there in Boston at that time, right? Greenwell attacked his teammates. <laughs> I mean, verbally. Well, they were all out there tonight. One and two the count. Espinosa with a possible RBI out there at second base. Matt Noakes, two down in the sixth inning. A big out for Clemens to get here. Well, you could see Simmons, uh, uh, Clemens telling him to give me the signs again and change him because he looked back and he thought Noakes was stealing them. Lantier, and he's got it. 